CBS News Miami is tracking the tropics for you. We're keeping a close eye on Hurricane Lee. The storm is churning slowly toward the northwest as a powerful Category 3. Here at home, a live look at downtown Miami. It's been mostly dry Monday with a few showers and storms popping up this afternoon. Next weather, Chief Meteorologist and Hurricane Specialist Ivan Cabrera here now with more on our storms and the brand new advisory on Lee. Yeah, absolutely good to see you both here on a Monday and I tell you what gorgeous shots there of Miami. Not much in the way of thunderstorms right now, but yes, this is Lee. We're going to be tracking it all week. We tracked it all last week. Still not a threat for us, but some changes towards the end of the forecast period. The cone now impacting uh, with the parts of uh, New England here. So we'll talk about that 115 mile an hour storm. That's still a category three. The pressure's down a little bit. Lee has a chance to intensify back a little bit close up shot there try to get an eye going here but still struggling you see a little bit of dry air working its way on the northern side of the eye wall there so you know it's trying to intensify but again it uh, really doesn't matter here as far as the category because it's going to stay over open water as it tries to get stronger all the while beginning that northward turn as we head through with tomorrow and then really almost due north towards the end of the period watch this here 75 mile an hour winds it could be anywhere this is the you know, tracking the eye of the storm, 90 mile an hour winds Friday night. But there you see now Massachusetts, including Boston, Cape Cod and the islands now included on the western side of the cone. That means there is a potential for a landfall here as we head into the weekend. It would be a much weaker storm, but still 75 mile an hour winds up in, uh, you know, uh, the uh, bay there and also heading up towards the Gulf of Maine. That would be a big issue. The models great consensus so far that hasn't changed. Here's the GFS and Euro still doing the same thing, but notice towards the end of the period, a little bit of a hook here to the left. That's what the Hurricane Center is looking at, and that's why the track has shifted a little bit to the west.